another video once again so today I am going to be doing a haul now I actually went on a shopping trip this morning and I did a poll on my Instagram story to see if you guys wanted a haul and you did so I thought it would be only fair to do a haul and yeah we're gonna get straight into this video before we do make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe it's right down below the free red button to become a hashtag official Heidi Corn. And yeah, you should totally become a Heidi Corn because Heidi Corns are great and you should totally go and subscribe to support my channel and just be an amazing person. So yeah, before we wait, I need to turn my light on. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so yeah, go and click the subscribe button right down below and we're gonna get straight into the video. Let's go. Okay guys, so the stuff that I got, this kind of haul is kind of a skincare, beauty. Um, clothing haul. There's quite a few different kind of things that I bought, um, but yeah, we're gonna start with the Primark bag. So, the first place that I went today was Primark, as you can see, and I actually did get quite a few bits from there. Um, some stuff I wanted to top up on, and some things I just wanted to get something new, like from or of. So, basically, we're gonna get straight in, I'm gonna show you what is inside this bag okay so the first thing that i bought from primark was these and these are some pajama shorts and they are literally so pretty i think they look so cute and they're kind of just like these pink ones with flowers on it and they're just kind of lounge kind of shorts and i really like them they're cute there's nothing really that like, special about them i got some pajama shorts and they look really cute so they're the first things that i got the next thing that i got was this now i actually really wanted a new dressing gown now I have one up there that's like a dark pink on my little like hang of it on my door um, but that's kind of getting too small and one of them are too big and I wanted like a white dressing gown like a nice beautiful white dressing gown um, that literally fitted me better so this one I tried it on it actually fits me so well and it is the most fluffiest and coziest dressing gown ever it's the exact same length I like it and it is literally so cute I absolutely love this and I'm so glad I picked this up so as you can see, it's by the brand Love to Lounge, and that's where the bottoms are from. And I love all of my like pajamas to so come from that kind of bit because they actually have the nicest stuff. So it's just a plain white dressing gown, and then it has like ribbons to tie it up, and then it also has obviously the back bit, and it has pockets. It's just like oh, I love it so much. It smells so good as well. <laughs> so yeah, I picked up this white dressing gown. And then I really, really wanted some matching slippers and I found these. So I don't know about you guys, but I literally do not like the slippers that feel like shoes. Because I feel like when you're in your own house, I just don't like having a feeling like you're wearing shoes. I literally just do not like it. So I got these. So these are kind of slipper sock kind of things. And they're these white fluffy slippers. And they've got like the little bit to tie up to tighten it around your feet. And then they like, oh my god. They are literally so fluffy and then on the backs they have grips like this so they're basically slippers but they feel more like socks um, and they're going to look so cute with this dressing gown, they're going to like match so well. So I got the little duo with the slippers and I love these, they're literally the most coziest things ever um, because I actually had some slippers. My slippers are too um, small for me now so I literally am so happy that I got these and they're also really stretchy as well so they'll probably last quite a long time. And these are only like, I think these are like two pounds. <laughs> That's literally a bargain. But yeah, I really like these. These are so cute. I, I'm going to say cute a lot, but they're really cute. Then I got this. <laughs> it's a hair wrap. I don't know if you guys know already, but I literally love when I do my skincare and my makeup to wear a hair wrap, which is one that kind of just goes like around your head. And it's kind of like a headband. So this is the one I've been using. It's pink. Um, and I'm really happy with this and I'm just like I really didn't really need a new one but I got this because I thought it would look so cute when I'm doing my skincare I think it would look really nice if I had like a white dressing gown my white slippers and the white hair wrap and it would look like I'm in the spa um, so yeah this is another one and I really wanted to kind of get a new one so I do like kind of like two um, so yeah 
Um, and it basically just looks like this. It's just like a headband that goes around to stop your hair getting in your face. Because I've got those little like tiny bits of baby hair here. And it always gets in my face when I'm putting cream in it. And I do not want cream getting in my hair. So this is so perfect. So I picked this one up. Then I think this is the last thing. Actually, no, there's another thing. Um, so I picked up these individual lashes from Primark. And I do my own lash extensions. And I use these. I actually watched a tutorial on YouTube. And I learned how to do them myself. So I'm going to have a go of like doing them myself again with these. Because I pulled them off. <laughs> I don't know why I did, but... The glue that I was using wasn't very strong either, so I'm going to have another try tonight, um, but yeah, here they are. If you guys want a tutorial on how I do my lashes, then just comment down below and I'll do a tutorial. And then I also got these cucumber eye masks, which are cucumbers, and they basically kind of cool your eyes and make them like kind of more like, makes you feel a bit awake. It's just kind of a soothing kind of face eye mask kind of thing, um, but they're in the fridge because tonight I'm going to do a self-care video, and... I'm filming that tonight, so <laughs> so basically I want to use them for tonight, so I put them in the fridge because you have to put them in the fridge and then they're kind of like cold and I'm literally so excited, but yeah I got them. That is all I got from Primark, um, but also in the Primark bag I actually went to another shop and I picked up this bronzer, so I was going to buy the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer because it was literally, it's matte, it's the perfect colour, um, I didn't think the size was very good but the size was decent. And I really, really wanted to get it. Now, I was going to get it, but then I saw this. Now, I've had a bronzer by this before, um, by this brand Sunkissed. And it was a sparkly bronzer. But sparkly ones just really annoy me. And I like my makeup, like my natural makeup, to be kind of more matte. So, I got this. And it is a matte bronzer, exact same shade that I literally love. And it is huge. Like, you cannot get a better bronzer than this. I think this was about £6, which isn't actually that bad either. Um, but it's so gorgeous. We're going to swatch it because I haven't actually swatched it yet. Oh, my days. Oh. I am so happy with this shade. I'm not even joking. So, any other brands want to hit me up with this shade, then business inquiries down below. Okay, so that is all I got from Primark. We're now going to go on to the final bag. So, I went to good old Asda. <laughs> I literally feel like Asda is just great. It just has everything there, doesn't it? So I kind of picked up a few of my essentials, basically. The first thing that I bought from Asda was this. So I, the reason I kind of, I would have normally kind of picked up most of this stuff, but the reason I picked up like quite a lot of the stuff I've used in the video is because also I'm doing a self care routine, um, and I basically had run out of quite a lot of it, and I used my like my, my last face mask because I had a top up bit in my drawer, and I had a few Neutrogena like ones, and I also had um, I also had a Seventh Heaven mask in here, some from Superdrug. But they were basically all just sitting in there and I used them all. So I did kind of need to top up my face mask and my skincare, my hair care stuff. So I picked up this, which is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Mask. I can't even tell you how good this smells. Like, I opened it and it's the almond cream one. Oh my god, I can't even tell you. This is going to make my hair literally... I Literally, I wish everyone could smell this. It smells so good. And I feel like you get quite a lot in there as well. And I cannot wait to use this tonight um, on my hair. It's going to make my hair look so nice. Um, and yeah, I picked this up. I think this was about £6, which isn't like that bad. You get quite a lot of it in there as well. And it kind of depends. When you have long hair, that's probably going to be a struggle. Like I actually have quite long hair um, when it's obviously down. I have it in high ponytail. Um, so I probably will get through this quite quick. But still, this is literally going to work wonders. And it smells so good. The next thing that I got was some face cloths. So basically my flannels are a bit dodgy, they are a little bit, um, let's just say ruined. I have literally makeup all over them and I decided to pick up some new ones because I was kind of tired of having the same ones. So I picked up these and this are, these are face cloths and these are just the ones by, I think these are the own brand or Careless Careless Spa. Um, and they're really, really soft, and these are literally so cute. I just can't wait to start using these. Um, and yeah, I just got some fresh new flannels, so I picked up two of these. So I have this one, and then I have this one. And then I picked up 
two face masks. So I picked up two of the simple ones. So these are the two face masks that I picked up. So I got two of these. So they're the Simple Kind to Skin Pollution Protect Sheet Mask with vitamin B3 and anti antidioxin. Don't know what that is. Um, but these are sheet masks, and yeah, I kind of just wanted to top up my skincare drawer because I have my makeup in this vanity and also my skincare. And I just wanted to kind of like I always like to have kind of face masks there instead of buying it every time. It's just easier to get a few and then just use them over time. And yeah, they look really good. I've never tried them, but these were like I think they were two pounds each, which isn't the worst because I know some face masks are like a fiver, and that is like crazy. So yeah, I got two of these face masks. Then I got some of these which are pore strips and they basically kind of deep clean your pores and get rid of all bacteria. So they come with three in these and these are by Swim Up Heaven. I've used these before and I love them so yeah. Got some of them. Okay so the next thing that I got, second to last thing, was the moisturiser that I have been currently using is this which is the simple hydrating light moisturizer and I think it's good but I feel like it isn't working how I feel like I want it to work so I've been experimenting with so many different moisturizers aloe waters so I've been I started off with using a men's one because obviously I ran out of my one I just decided to try my dad's one and it weren't working the best and then I tried the L'Oreal Paris um, hydro i think it's like the hydro genius aloe water and it ran out so quick and it was like 15 pounds and i was not prepared to top up on that every time i ran out of it because i ran out of it in like three weeks which isn't like very good for moisturizer um, and now i've been trying this one i bought this i think two days ago and it isn't working very well like it will after about after about five six hours my skin will start getting dry again and it will just be awful so i decided to try a new one so i put this one up by neutrogena or neutrogena um and it's the visibly clear clear spot proofing oil free moisturizer and it just looked quite cool and i was like let's just try it <laughs> so it's obviously got like normal packaging and inside it looks pretty interesting so it's kind of looks a bit like this. I feel this reminds me of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, but it's basically looks like this and it's just a moisturiser and it looks really cool and it's got like this little thing here. Okay, I feel like this is going to work really well. Well, we'll try it out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. But yeah, this is the moisturiser. So that's all I got for myself. And then I also picked up a Lindor chocolate box for my mum for Mother's Day. It's like an extra gift. Um, and yeah, me and my brother have both got that for her. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul. So overall, I got kind of like a dressing gown, a hair wrap, face masks, pore strips, lashes, bronzer, dressing gown, pyjamas, slippers. And yeah, I got quite a lot of stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed that video and yeah it was pretty interesting i'm super excited to do um try a few of these products out and i'll let you know on my instagram which will be linked down below it's absolute Heidi official and you should totally go follow me on there because i do a load of behind the scenes a lot of you guys are able to pick my videos as a whole and i literally do loads of polls and that and you guys can get really into the videos and kind of have a bit of input as well so yeah that is all for me today and make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe right down below i'm trying to get to 260 subscribers so please 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 go and subscribe right down below it will mean the absolute world and you can join the Heidi Corns, which is literally the best fandom that is growing day by day so yeah i love you all i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next video bye Oh,